Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're going to be talking about new aquariums, so setting up a new aquarium. If you've been watching my recent videos, you'll know I've just set this one up. It's in the past for you, but it's today for me. So there's a lot of problems people encounter with new tank syndrome, tank crashes, some misinformation out there on the internet. Specifically, we're going to talk about filter boost products. A lot of the problems are to do with not having a buildup of beneficial bacteria in your filter that can cope with the waste that your new livestock is producing. So a mature filter will have all kinds of bacteria in there which will be breaking down waste and neutralizing any ill effects. But a new filter doesn't always have that. There are a myriad of products on the market, whether it's Seachem Stability, um, Evolution Aqua, Aqua Pure Balls, I think we've got Fritz Aquatic, all, all kinds of things out there. The one that I have to hand is the Cloverleaf Absolute Pearls. So that's what we're going to be testing today. Um, this isn't necessarily a fully rigorous scientific test against this particular product, but it's more of a general test against these type of things because you have very distinct camps on the internet. These are all smoke and mirrors, doesn't work and swear by them. So we're going to follow the instructions to the letter and we're going to test it on this aquarium to see what we can find. The aquarium behind me, it's running All Pond Solutions Hang On Back Filter, uh, which comes with one of these little baskets. Uh, I really like these because they're little baskets you can fill with anything. So we're going to fill it with media as if we were doing it from brand new. Um, in this case, we've got some Bio Home Ultimate. I'm going to fill this up, I'm going to put it in, we're going to add the bio balls or absolute pearls in this case, test the aquarium daily and see what happens basically. Generally what happens in new aquariums are when you do water tests you will get zeros across the board on day one because there's no livestock in there, there's no waste being produced. Uh, and there's nothing converting that waste into anything else. So the cycle, the aquarium cycle, and the nitrogen cycle, you might hear it referred to all those things if you're a complete beginner, is where the aquarium filtration system will break down the fish waste. So it'll start with ammonia, um, bacteria will convert that ammonia into uh, nitrite, and then a different bacteria will convert that into nitrate, which is the least harmful of those things for the fish that are living in your aquarium. Um, but it takes time. Generally, in the olden days, you would chuck in some fish food or a, an old prawn, leave it sitting there for three months, and eventually the bacteria would culture themselves as if by magic. Now we have all kinds of products like this which claim to be able to accelerate that for you. If you're some kind of madman like me and you have more than one aquarium, generally what I do to start new tanks is to take some of the filter media from other tanks, bob it in here, and away we go, day one, everything's fantastic. But we're not going to do that in this case. In this case, we're going to test it and see if these things work. During the cycling process, what you tend to do is let the ammonia build up, then some nitrites appear, and then they kind of juggle about for a bit, and then eventually some nitrites appear and the other two drop down to zero, and that's when you know you're cycled. There are many and varied uh, methods on the internet of how much to dose if you're dosing with ammonia and all that kind of stuff. But let's see how we go on with this method. First job, fill this full of the biohome and get it into the tank. So we have these little baskets. This is biohome that has been previously used, but it's been sat dry for weeks and weeks, if not months. So any um, good bacteria that's on these little biohome ultimate sticks is long dead. Um, if you are considering moving tanks and trying to keep things alive, um, in my experience, the bacteria does, it can survive for a good few weeks if you keep it moist. Um, I tend to try and keep it warm as well. I don't know if that actually makes a difference, but if you can keep the, the filter media wet, the, ma the bacteria can almost lie dormant sort of thing. And then once you start running water through it again and there's more things to feed the bacteria, it kicks in again. So that's one done. We'll just finish this other one and then we're done. So the way these hang on back filters, which is the thing here work, is they take in water from the aquarium through a pump. This particular one has a UV filter, which should help with algae control and things like that. And then they filter it through these three chambers and you just slot it in like so. That 
should just sit in place. Uh, and there are some other gaps where you can stuff more media in if you want to pimp it, like Pond Guru would say. Um, but that should do for us. Right, let's test the water and make sure we're starting from a level playing field with all zeros. So the tank itself, if you haven't seen my previous video, this is one that I've just set up today. It's fairly light stocking, which I think is important because we're giving the product the best chance it can. I've got five Ember Tetras and three Chili Rasboras. So very, very small fish. Should be quite a low load. So if the product is going to work anywhere, it'll probably work here. The absolute product here we're testing says each ball should treat 25 litres. The tank here is 55 litres, I think, 60 litres, something like that. It also says you can't overdose, so we'll go with three balls to treat this one. Right, I won't bore you with sitting through test results because I've made those kind of videos before and I've learned my lesson. But just for um, complete mistake, what I'm using is the JBL Pro Scan kit. I'm using the API Master kit. And I'm also using the JBL Combi Set, I think it's Pro Combi Set. So three different test kits, um, and they've all consistently said everything's zero across the board. So all, all I'm really interested in for this test is ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. So they're all zero, we're starting from zero. The product itself says we should be, simply drop the contents of Absolute Pearls into a filter bag or directly into the water where the bacteria and the enzymes start to get to work. One absolute pearl will treat up to 25 litres and cannot be overdosed. Uh, and for newly set up aquariums, day one, add two pearls per 25 litres. Day two, add one pearl. Day three, add one pearl. Uh, and that's it. So, does that mean it's meant to work in three days? We shall see. So, day one, add two pearls per 25 litres. I think this is about 60 litres and you can't overdose. So let's add... Um, three, let's say this is three pearls worth, so two pearls per 25 litres, let's call it six. There's a close-up of the packaging if you want to try this stuff for yourself. I do like this bit at the bottom. Solution to pollution. I love a bit of alliteration. I'm going to add them to the filter. So I'm just going to bob them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Job done. Right, let's come back on day two and see how we're doing. Day two, yes, I'm still wearing the same jumper. It's my comfy winter jumper. We have just done the water test, so let's get the balls in first. So three balls today because on day two, it says one pearl per 25, or about 60, so we're gonna call that three pearls. Uh, like so. Just drop them into the filter. One, two, three. Um, but I've just done the water tests here as well, and still no ammonia, but some nitrite has shown up. Very small amount, 0 0.2 parts per million. Still no nitrate. Um, so I don't know if anything is happening. I was surprised. I was expecting to have nothing for the first couple of days, and then maybe, if it is a miracle, have some nitrates turn up on day three. But we shall keep monitoring. Come back tomorrow. Right, so we're on day three. Uh, I've just added the, the balls and just done another water test. I've been doing a couple of water tests a day. Um, today's has been quite interesting. It's kind of shot up. <laughs> uh, we've got a dangerously luminous green um, for the ammonia. So some, some ammonia has shown up and the beneficial bacteria that these balls are meant to be providing have not been dealing with it. So I'm going to have to do a bit of an emergency water change, uh, throw in some uh, safe or prime if I've got some of that. Um, so a bit of a fail on this one, because um, that's dangerous. That's that's getting too high. That's going to be putting the fish at risk. So we need to sort that out. So I'll do a water change, get that back down to manageable levels, and we'll see how we get on from there. So, in conclusion, we had a bit of drama on day three, and if you join me on my live stream, we talked about it quite a bit there. And I was ready for writing it off. I was saying, nope, it's bunkum, it's hokum pokum, these type of products just don't work. Um, but day four was quite interesting, and we're on day five now, so I've only I've done half a day of day five. But day four, steady as a rock. I'll put the results up here so you can have a look at them. Um, but basically, we had the ammonia spike on day three, 
And I did do a water change, a fairly large water change. But when I came back on day four in the AM, everything was looking good. It was looking like it was spot on, like a cycle tank. And I thought, well, maybe it was just the water change and it's just give it a little bit more time and it'll go again. But the PM stayed stable. This morning's test was stable. Um, I'll, I'll test it again and keep going, but the, it looked like it was a spike and we've got over it and it does look like it's a cycled tank. I'm seeing slightly more nitrates in the water. I'm not seeing ammonia and I'm not seeing nitrite come back. So, touch wood, that looks quite good. So, I think there is a lesson to be learned here. So the clover leaf absolute pearls, the instructions are a bit lacking. So I don't know if this is what is exactly meant to happen because it could be that you get to the day three, the instructions here basically have three days worth of instructions. Day one, add pearls. Day two, add pearls. Day three, add more pearls. That's it. They do say something about recommending adding uh, pearls per uh, maintenance, for general maintenance weekly to boost the filtration. But I feel like they should put in some kind of wording along the lines of make sure you monitor your water quality while you're adding uh, fish to a new tank or setting up a new tank. Look out for ammonia spikes, nitrite spikes, that kind of thing. Because if, if this was expected behaviour, I've cycled a tank in three slash four days. That's pretty good going. That's a lot faster than it would be with traditional methods. So I think if it included some kind of warning or precaution to say look out for an ammonia spike, if you do get an ammonia spike do a water change, keep adding the pearls, maybe add them for four days. Obviously this is just me doing a very unscientific test once. I've not repeated this test multiple times to make sure that this is uh, legit, but that's my experience so far and I think I'm almost ready to recommend this because it does seem to have worked. So what I'll do is say to you, as any good YouTuber would, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if I do have an update on this, I will make another video or a follow up. Or you can join me on a live stream Friday night, 9 p.m. UK time. We generally have uh, live streams and I'll give some updates as we go on um, through the weeks and months to come. But so far, so good. But for that little hiccup, which got me a little bit worried, I think, I think we might be onto a bit of a winner. So thank you for joining me. Click the subscribe button, click the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Obviously I've been using the Cloverleaf Absolute Pearls, but they're in the same family as many other things like your Evolution Aqua, Bio Balls, that type of thing. Um, this isn't an endorsement or uh, anything like that against this particular product. It's just typing, testing this type of product and whether it can work. And in this case, I think it might be able to. Thank you.